Good morning everyone. I, I uh, thought I'd start the day off with a quick video about the uh, the Volkswagen. We received the uh, EV West uh, starter kit uh, the other day for the conversion to uh, from, from gas to electric and I thought I would uh, go over the components that came in the kit. I've already unboxed them and kind of displayed them but uh, thought everybody might be interested in seeing what all comes with the kit and so forth. Um, there was no packing list with the uh, with the three boxes that we received, so I went to the web page and it lists pretty much everything I believe that comes with the kit, and I think it's all here. So, but I thought I'd document it anyway. But um, so first off, for those that haven't seen this video, this is our 1971 uh, VW Super Beetle that we're going to convert from gas to electric, and uh, we've chosen the EV West uh, uh, kit seem to be the most uh, comprehensive and uh, it just looks really good in the car and it seems to work really well so <clears throat> excuse me so anyway uh, if, if you can see here I've kind of laid out on the table here uh, the components that came in the starter kit and uh, I'll go ahead and start off on this side on the right and just kind of name the stuff as I think it is and uh, it looks to me like this is, is the adapter for the uh, uh, for the motor itself, the electric motor, to the transaxle or transmission, um, and that would take the place of where the gas engine is at the moment. And so, moving along here, these would be looks like the bolts and the components to mount uh, that particular adapter, and maybe that's for the crankshaft. I'm not sure, but I think so. One of the things I notice is that on the packages, they don't really say what they are, but common sense would show what they are um, and so uh, anyway <clears throat> so moving along here it looks to me like this is probably the charging port uh, yeah it looks like it that will more than likely fit in where the gas tank filler tube is right now and we've chosen a Tesla type of charging system um, so once we receive the battery packs we'll put that in but that looks like that's what that is <clears throat> This looks like the, um, I want to say, well, it's like a gas pedal, I suppose, but maybe a throttle control, we'll call it. And this is a used component, more than likely off of a Prius type of thing, I think. In fact, uh, yeah, there's the Toyota part numbers and so forth. And it still has, you know, like markings where it was probably removed at a wrecking yard or something. But uh, <clears throat> either way, I'm sure it's going to work fine. And this came in the package also. And this one actually has a, a label on it. Prius six position plug with pins and seals. So that probably plugs into the harness. That plugs into the back of that. Next is, it looks like the charging meter. It probably indicates, uh, uh, there's probably an LED type of uh, display in that middle screen there that would show a charge percentage or so forth. And <clears throat> this looks like part of the harness. Maybe this is, I think this is the harness that will match up the, uh, the motor, which I'll show you here in a couple of minutes. Those look like the plugs to a number of other components in the vehicle. It looks uh, quite unfinished, but um, I noticed on the EV West webpage that there is a wiring harness uh, diagram in PDF form. So. Um, some of these other components, obviously those are just, that's just a, uh, a connector of some sort. And this looks like a relay, uh, maybe? Modular EV power. Hmm. Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out. And so this would be a solenoid of some sort. I can see uh, A1 plus, A2 minus, so uh, yeah, probably a solenoid of some sort. And this, I don't really want to quite open the package yet since I'm not going to be starting on it for a little while, but it kind of looks like just a half-used roll of toilet paper, but uh, I'm sure it's not. Um, it would be nice if they would label the components on the, on the package. Um, this little thing here, sorry about the glare, we've got a lot of light behind us, is looks like it's a uh, 18, let's see here. 96 volt to 12 volt, probably a converter, yeah, DC to DC converter that you can't really read. So I would imagine it can convert the battery power that uh, that we'll be using. 
down to 12 volt for the other components in the car. Um, this unit right here looks to me like it's the probably the charger. Uh, it's got a little fan and heat sink and so forth like that on it. And I'm almost sure it is. And in fact, yeah, there's the the label. It's it's upside down on the camera, but so anyway, that's the charging unit plus a plug-in. I'm assuming for if you didn't have a regular charger. <clears throat> And this is the motor controller, so I'm assuming that's the brains of the whole thing. Um, you can see the harness right down in here where the harness plugs into it, uh, which I would assume is going to be that plug right there. So until I actually get into the, uh, the manual and so forth, I won't know for sure what it is, but I'm sure that's the controller. This uh, component here looks like it's going to be the mount maybe for the controller based on the size. Um, looks like it would probably mount on top of the motor maybe. Uh, some really nice uh, laser cutting work or whatever they're doing on there. And uh, pretty quality stuff. It looks pretty nice. Um, this thing here that has the little tube of silicone with it, um, it must glue down on something. Maybe it's a heat sink type of thing or a cooling tray is what I'm going to assume. And uh, <clears throat> and so here's the the muscle of the whole unit. This is the the motor that's going to replace the gas motor that's going to be controlled by all of these components here. And so uh, pretty heavy unit it took two of us to move it around. And um, and so uh, uh, but yeah, pretty massive wiring and so forth like that. And so. Uh, looks pretty good this looks like really quality components and they've done a real good job um, the only other thing that I would think that would be helpful is be if there was a little bit better labeling of the packages but that's kind of small stuff I can figure that out once I start in anyway so that's the starter kit for the uh, EV West uh, conversion and which I'll be starting in probably in October once I get back from uh, my little trip up north Anyway, y'all have a great day and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.